Okay, <clears throat> good morning everyone. So our topic for today is all about make true equations. So at the end of this topic, you can tell to yourself that I can fill in the missing number in equations to make them true. So let us try to figure out the first one here. Okay, listen carefully when I play this audio. What number goes in the blank to make the equation true? How do you know? Okay, so our equation here is 2 plus 5 equals blank plus 6. We learned for our past lesson that this equal sign means that the value of this side should be equal to the value of this equation, right? So if I am going to show two plus five counters, it will be like this. One, two, I will use another color for five counters. One, two, three, four, five. So when I count these counters, two plus five, all of these are seven, right? So we are going to figure out what is the missing number here. If we have seven on this side, the other side should be seven, but we have already six, right? We have already six. I will draw six counters for you. So we have one, we have two, three, four, five, six. How many do we need so that we can have all seven on this side? Since the equal sign means this side should be equal to this side. Since we have only six counters here from this equation, so how many do we add more? Yes, you are right. We will just add one more. So that will be one plus six equals seven. So the answer is one, right? Do you have a question on that? I hope you understand this lesson and you can answer for our next equation. Let's try to watch this video. Oh, this video is not working, huh? Okay, anyways, let's try another one. This one? What number can you write in the blank to make this equation true? Use pictures or words to show how you know. Eight plus blank equals six plus six. Okay, guys. So let's try counters again. Eight plus blank equals six plus six. So this equal sign here will tell us that the value of eight plus blank should be equal to six plus six. So let us try to figure out this way. We know already that we have already the parts here, six plus six. Let us just try to draw counters for six plus six. So that is already six. One, two, three, four, five, six plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when I counted all together on these sides, all are 12. Let us count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So since we have 12 here, this side should be equal to 12, but we have already eight there. So I will draw counters, eight counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have already eight. What is the missing number to make it 12? So that it will be equal to 12. So keep going on, keep counting on. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that is already 12. All in all is 12. So we have eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus, oh, I cannot write eight, huh? Eight plus, how many did we add more to make it 12? One, two, three, four. So that is four. The missing number is four. So we can read like this way. Eight plus four equals six plus six. Right, guys? So we have 12 on this side and we have also 12 this side. So that means they are equal. I have another video to show you so that you will understand about this lesson more, okay? Let me try to go back here. And let me share to you this video. Out and listen carefully. <music> Topic five focuses on an understanding of the equal sign in addition or subtraction equations. Often students believe that the equal sign means, here comes the answer. That is not true. Instead, the equal sign means that the numerical expressions on both sides of the equal sign have the same value. If both expressions have the same value, the equation is true. If both expressions do not have the same value, it is false. Equations express relationships between two quantities. Let's look at some equations and illustrations with connecting cubes. 3 plus 2 equals 6 minus 1 is true because the values on both sides are the same. 3 plus 2 is 5 and 6 minus 1 is 5. Both expressions have the value of 5. 14 equals 9 plus 5 is true because the values on both sides are the same. 9 plus 5 has the same value as 14. 10 equals 10 is true because the values on both sides are the same. 4 plus 8 equals 13 is false because 4 plus 8 has a value of 12, not 13. 3 plus 8 equals 11 minus 2 is false because 11 is not the same value as 9. In this topic, students solve open equations by finding the missing number to make the equation true. The idea that both sides of a true equation must have the same value lays the foundation for later work in which students consider both sides of the equal sign as equivalent expressions.